So here we are, the new Via fork, our new upside down fork dedicated to DH and Enduro. It's an upside down fork. Bigger characteristic, it is a sliding bush application that is unique feature to achieve the best uh, riding performance. The fork, it is built in 7075 and titanium, all bolt in titanium to assure lightness and strength. You may ask why Vaya? Vaya name is in memory of the big storm that hit this area a few years ago, destroying more than 14 million trees on our woods, woods that we like very much, we also respect very much. We thought it was a good idea to name this fork in the name of the Vaya store. We are now going to talk about some of the main structural features of the new Vaya fork. One of the biggest characteristics it is the fact that we have been choosing a titanium axle. What is very interesting is that with the same fork assembly, you can eventually swap from a 20 mm axle to a 15 mm axle with the same fork assembly, just changing the wheel axle and the adapter. So making very flexible in the utilization going from an enduro wheel, generally 15, to a downhill that is generally a 20. The other very interesting feature that one stem is offering two possible offset. So, same stem, just on changing the position, you achieve two different offset, 44 millimeter or 48 millimeter. We carry on with the structural side of the feature of this via fork. The main feature, it is in the guiding system. The fork is using a sliding dew bush system, completely different to what is normally used into an RSU fork. Basically, you have a dew bush that it will be still static and it will sit inside the outer tube, basically in this position. This is a seal head with a wiper seal and the oil seal together. And you have a sliding view that has a very, very tight tolerance to keep very precise the movement. And it will slide up and down inside the tube, allowing to have a very large overlap in each condition. So you will end up to have a 240 millimeter overlap already on static, consider a 25, 30 millimeter of static, right eye, and it will go up to the maximum when you will be basically in full compression. So you can see that the system is working in a completely different way compared to an RSU, and this is what is making this type of four design very efficient, very sensitive, very low friction and very good precise on riding. Now we are going to look at what is inside the floor that make again something very, very special. This it is an air cartridge. It is a full contained air cartridge, completely isolated from the other component. It's carrying, like uh, our previous fork, three chamber, plus plus, main, negative, and our famous little system of the HR system. What is happening here? The fork, while working, it will compress the two main chamber 
and he has a very good uh, capacity to be tuned. So what does it mean? Basically, using token that can be fitted around this part, we can change a lot of the characteristic of the plus plus chamber, increasing more force towards the end of the fork. The other unique feature is we can use outside tube token, we call it token, we call it volume reducer, that can be packed around the tube and we can tune in a very precise, a very specific or very personalized way the negative chamber. So now we move to the dampier cartridge. Again, it's a complete isolate cartridge with low speed, high speed adjustment and rebound down to the bottom. It's completely dedicated to the upside down fork. It's running a 22 millimeter hydraulic piston, a 10 millimeter aluminum shaft, and one of the interesting features, it is you have a little push button to release the air. This feature, it is present in both the fork legs. So in the cartridge legs and for air, and in the cartridge dumping legs for the cartridge one. You also have a very small detail here that maybe it's not so significant, but all the volume inside the fork have been very well studied to enhance the lubrification. So very little oil quantity is making a very high lubrification capacity for the sliding view. So again, little details that can make a big difference. For the development of this fork, we spend hundreds of hours carrying out the torsional and bending test in order to obtain the best cornering and handling precision while keeping the, the weight of the fork low. Cool thing about this product is it's a modular product. So it was born like a downhill fork, uh, but it's perfect also for an indoor usage. You can change the travel from 200 to 170, so it's 200, 190, 180, 170, and changing the wheel axle, you can go from a downhill bike to a long travel 170 or 180 enduro bike. So the Via is now available. If you want to know more about technical stuff, characteristic, just go on our website. It is a dedicated page to the Via.